Are you serious? Are you serious? I told you the persecution of Christians was coming to America. Come on, guys. Get off the padded pew. Quit the fluffy, puffy, marshmallow message preaching and start telling people what's going on. The current world events are pointing to us the signs of the apocalypse and they're everywhere. And Jesus Christ shall return after a glorious bride that's been washed in the precious blood of the Lamb. Folks, listen to what's happening. I want to thank Patty Dickerson. I want to thank Rita in Oklahoma. I want to thank Stephen of Oklahoma, I want to thank two other people, I can't remember, for getting me information of what happened in New Jersey and what happened in Philadelphia. So Vernon in Philadelphia, listen closely. It's right in your backyard. Here's what's going on. Vinny of New Jersey, what? Are you there? Listen. Let me read to you, folks. Muslims have beheaded two Christians in New Jersey. Have you heard it on MSNBC? No. Have you heard it on NBC? No. CBS, ABC, CNN? No. You can hear it right here. You might, you might want to stay here at this channel for the real news and how it relates to biblical prophecy if you do believe Christ is coming back. Uh, Muslims have accused of beheading two Christians in the United States. Um, let me read this to you. Unbelievable. Not unbelievable. It's, it's actually totally believable. Authorities in New Jersey allege a Muslim man has beheaded two Coptic Christians, burying their bodies and heads and hands in separate graves near Philadelphia. Bringing the horror of the persecution of Christians in Islamic nations to the United States of America. Maybe you'll start believing me when I tell you that the false prophet the, is coming from radical Islam and the Antichrist is going to rise up as simultaneously as the leader of the new world order, one world government, or as the Bible calls it, the beast. Bringing the horror of persecution of Christians in Islamic nations uh, to the United States of America. According to New York's WABC TV, Muslims were identified as Yusuf Ibrahim, age 28. He was taken into custody after the bodies were found. The report said investigators alleged that Ibrahim killed the victims, then severed their heads and their hands, and buried the remains in the backyard of a home in Buena Vista, New Jersey. The report said the victims were from Coptic Christian communities in the area. One of the victims had come from Egypt not many years ago. Now, while the report said that police did not indicate a motive, Friends of the victims wondered if it was something to do with religion. What? Really? Are you serious? Something to do with religion? Police can't figure out the motive? I can give you the motive. Go to Matthew 24. Read about the signs of the, of the uh, signs of the times of the coming of Christ. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. Let me read this to you. You don't want to miss my show today. Because I'm down here in Dallas, Texas, I don't have access. I don't have enough. My computer system isn't good enough to do it on all of my networks. So I'm only at paulbegleyprophecy.com, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Go to the live stream page there. Or go to livestream.com. That's the only two places. Two hours show today. And it starts at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time from 12 to 2. Don't miss it. I got a lot to talk about. Bird invasions and, and, and Obama's trip to Israel now has an official title, the Unbreakable Alliance, or in the Hebrews, it's called a covenant with many peoples. What? Look at this. The report says the victims, uh, they don't know what the motive is. All right, I'll read it to you. Matthew 24, Jesus in verse 3. And as he sat up on the Mount of Olives, talking about Jesus Christ, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, 
And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilence, and earthquakes, in divers places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrows. Well, we've been witnessing this. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. It just happened. New Jersey. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many of you be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel, what gospel? The fluffy puffy, marshmallow message, Dr. Feel Good gospel, or the gospel of deliverance, the gospel of the blood of Christ, the gospel of being born again, the gospel of the anointing of the Holy Ghost, the gospel of redemption, the gospel of reconciliation, the gospel of sanctification, the gospel of the redeemed of the Lord, let them say so, the gospel of the born again, believing, Bible thumping, bumping, Holy Ghost anointed Christians to be born again. When this gospel of the kingdom is shall be preached unto all the world for a witness unto all nations, and that's what we're doing right here on YouTube, then shall the end come. We just received we're over 18,900 subscribers, and we're over 12 million views in less than three years, and over 2,000 requests for salvations in less than three years. And we're taking this gospel message. And if you watch my videos of where I preached in New York City, I'm taking an anointed message of God, a fresh word from the Lord to Jamaica, April 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I'll be preaching in the largest church in the entire Caribbean islands. I need you to pray for me. I need you to, I need you to stand with me. I need somebody to be with me. Yeah, I, I know you can't be, maybe you can't be in Jamaica. Maybe some of you, maybe somebody shows up actually from America or from around the Caribbean. This church is a mega church. It's over 5,000 people. Power of Faith Ministries there. Bishop Dr. Delford Davis, a powerful man of God. Never met him in my life. Never spoke to him in my life until he called me on the phone and invited me to come and preach his 30th anniversary of his church. I'll be preaching Sunday morning and Sunday night, April 21st. Monday night, April 22nd, and Tuesday night, April 23rd. Thousands of people will be gathering. I'm going to bring a message, uncompromising message of the gospel and biblical prophecy and whatever the Lord leads according to the theme of the revival, which is strengthening the foundations for higher dimensions, which is the theme. And I'm not going to play around. Somebody's going to get delivered. Someone's going to get saved. Someone's going to get re-energized re in the Holy Ghost. I need you to help me. Would you pray with me? Would you agree with me in prayer? I need you to help me. This, it's starting. I need, you to, I need you to believe the word of God. Please give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't miss my show. I got I to gotta tune it up. Actually, it starts in 35 minutes. So God bless you. We love you in Jesus' name.